candidates presented to the provisional degree of Bachelor of Engineering, Bachelor of Architecture, Bachelor of uh, Master of Technology, Master of Architecture, Master of Business Administration, and Master of Computer Application. I hereby order you to behave yourself in your speech and conduct befitting the degree awarded to you. A celebration, actually. Because the graduating students of this prestigious institution, Ramaya Institute of Technology, has come out very successfully, have brought many laurels to our institution. And I am sure Ramaya Institute of Technology, during their journey, has also very positively and uniquely contributed to their future career. It's a matter of great privilege for me today to congratulate the students and parents for all their achievements, for an introspection for all of us. We need to continue to build the state of art infrastructure we already have. It's a work in progress. We should also upscale the academic excellence. Let me say congratulations. You have made it. Just now, when... Is that all? Is that all? This is celebration time. Your dreams have been fulfilled. Of course, for some of you, maybe you will seek a higher degree or higher education abroad or seek an employment or become an entrepreneur. The opportunities are open to you. There are new expectations for you and new responsibilities also join hands with that at the same time. The mother Real life, and then Nija Jim Dali was carried there. Idi came Dear friends, today we at the Gokula Education Foundation under the aegis of our uh, chairman Dr. M. R. Jaira, we have done our best for all of you. We have provided the best of infrastructure and our faculty, which is unmatched anywhere around this country. Or we are not less equal, we are equal to many, many private institutions, including the IITs in this country. I am particularly happy to note that the institution has completed 60 years of very important service to the country. And I would like to congratulate Dr. Jairam and all the other members of the governing body for the excellent progress that Ramaya Institute of Technology has made over the years. So congratulations to you and we are looking forward to see what more higher heights the foundation as well as all your institutions are able to reach over the coming years. Graduating students, I am really happy to see all of you. As we were walking in along with the procession, I was see, looking carefully at all your happy faces and to see all of you so joyous on this occasion. We all share your happiness in completing your course in this prestigious institution and I wish you all the best in the years ahead. So first of all, can you all give yourselves a big round of applause for the graduation. And of course, I am equally happy to see so many of your parents and family members here. As has already been pointed out, 
their contribution has been no less in whatever you have been able to achieve. So let me also congratulate all your parents and family members and thank you for all your support. Uh, it is customary on any day like this to offer some advice to the graduating class. So I will also stick to that pattern and would like to share a few thoughts with you. The first point I would like to emphasize, which is something that the earlier speakers also mentioned, is that this is a world of opportunities. And you can see all those opportunities unfolding before you. However, it is equally true that these opportunities are going to be accessible to those of you who are the best prepared and the most enterprising. The nature of work is clearly changing very fast. If you look at the way organizations are today, they are very different from the way organizations were 10 or 20 years ago. So with this fast pace change of work, you all need to be extremely adaptable. So the first point I would like to emphasize is that your learning is certainly not over with this degree from MSRIT. Earlier, people used to stick for one job or one organization throughout their lives. In fact, I'm sure you would find in your families, many of the elders just worked in one organization throughout their careers. A few of them moved on to other jobs and roles, but now individuals go through multiple careers, each one requiring different skill sets. When I speak to the alumni of my institute, I am Bangalore, I find many of them are now going on to their third or fourth career. They might have started a career in conventional management, then they might have gone on to some leadership role, now they are going into entrepreneurship, some of them are now going into social institutions. And each of these transitions requires careful preparation as well as new skill sets. An excellent foundation, but you will have to continuously build on this foundation in the years ahead. Remember, even if you are planning to work in the so-called gig economy, even if you don't want to work in an established organization, your skills will need to have currency and they will need to have value. The gig skill that is valuable today may not have value five years from now and that's what most of the reports and projections indicate. I would also like to submit to all of you that excellence and hard work matter.
Moving to Electronics and Communication Engineering by Sri Anurad Agarwal, a distinguished alumnus of Ramaya Institute of Technology. Please a round of applause. And the third rank goes to Shriya Padavi. Moving to the instituted by Shri C. Lakshmi Narsimha Rao. A the third rank, Ananya N. The first rank goes to Muskan Gupta. I request her sister to please collect the medal on her. The third rank goes to Engineering. The second rank goes to Nidhi Bhatt G. <coughs> Moving to Electronics and Telecommunication Institute of Technology and instituted in the name of Sri Sanjeev Krishna Sharma. by Sri Talam Venkatesh, a distinguished alumnus of Rama Institute of Technology. A round of applause, please. In the name of Sri Navarunde, instituted by Lake Sri Navarunde, a distinguished alumnus of Please, a round of applause. instituted by Shri Praveen. Please applause. On her behalf, of late parents Shri Manuranjan Mukherjee and Shri Mati Leena Mukherjee, the third rank taken by Ankita, the fourth rank taken by Kritika KC. Good afternoon. Sri Priya, second rank. Patulya, fourth rank.
wherever you are, either in industry or in whichever sphere that you have been working, this knowledge is going to help you and help the organizations to grow. My predecessors have all advised you a number of ways. And each one you can take one of the advice and that becomes a milestone for your future growth. I would not, I would not like to add any more because you have enough advices given. Even at home there are so many of your kid and kin. All the time they give a lot of advice. And your friends use your advice. And your society gives you advice. And your teachers use your advice. And all of us are giving you advice. So how much advice can you take is the big problem. However, this is all because of the love that they have for me. Please understand this. It is a love that they have carried over and given it to you as a special privilege. So you can take those advices with a lot of love, thereby it will be translated to your well-being. I know you have big challenges before you. The world is changing, especially after the pandemic and the way the uncertainties of war, which is which is being happening in Europe and other parts of the world, there are a lot of uncertainties. There may be a lot of ups and downs for countries, developed countries, underdeveloped countries and developing countries like ours. Opportunities can be becoming fewer. But I would like to tell you, my young friends, that any catastrophes, there is always a room for opportunities. 